when we're thinking about a speculative ecology, we're starting with deep time, right? What, what, what can we learn by touching these stones? moving under the concrete, which is most likely water, um, that's creating these cracks. So let's work with the cracks. How do you make work that can transfer for many generations? Yeah, and the thing about working with stones and rocks is like imagining the life of each of those rocks and the world that they inhabited. I'll bring you some water. Oh, it is beautiful. In the culture that we live in, we put a lot of a lot of energy into thinking and making and deriving products. Not so much into cleaning and caring and tending and receiving knowledge from that kind of action. All of the soil comes from 50 feet under the ground. It's the soil that we displaced by building a well outside and it's carbon dating 7,000 years. So you're touching things that haven't seen the light of day for 7,000 years. this I could save and use it as well as a sand later. If I want to make more like brick type form I can I can add it back into clay. That's a good thing to know when you're thinking about your art supply material that you can actually make your clay out of the ground and put it back in the ground when you're done. You're doing this all together one piece so when you feel like it, switch places and move around the form. Or maybe we just put it together as we're going. Like you could just stick that onto here. And then we'll put everything back into the clay bin. So this is really meant for you to kind of fall in love with what you're doing and release it. We're practicing letting go. Oh, oh no. That's a reflection of our experience here at the studio where versus just sitting in the school and watching videos, we actually got our hand dirty. We wash rocks, we, we've been gardening, <laughs> and I think we want to share the experience. Uh, 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 My universe consisted of my father's garden. Nopales, fig, cactus, loquat, apricot trees everywhere. Yes, and the billy goats, the rabbits, the roosters, and the sheep that ran around Chavez Ravine like they owned the pinche place. Okay, Maria says to Fernando, don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Ecologically, what is the reparation? Dodger Stadium parking lot wants to be a hill again. Our purpose is to like let the land itself heal itself. What if LA had a symbiotic relationship with the river? Using the native plants to remove pollutants, especially from the cars and the asphalt. Like, and what if native flora and fauna could return back to where they belong? Having those corridors that can connect green spaces, especially important for the bigger animals like coyotes and bobcats and mountain lions, because they require a larger range of habitat in order to hunt. Rainwater has a very difficult time permeating the concrete 
create our dream and to be the Los Angeles as a uh, Sanji City. It would obviously start as a seasonal wetland um, that would establish itself during the rainy season. Um, because that's also essential to keeping the water clean, is keeping it moving. What if we can actually intervene in construction as we know it to let a mountain behave like a mountain again? Be the catch of the water that falls from the sky. Be the generative element which will allow decay again. When things decay, you get mycelium. When you get mycelium, you activate the seeds in the ground. It is that network that is inherently in the ground.